Monica and welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial I'll be teaching you how to sew this off the shoulder top with the long flowy sleeves. I used a lightweight non-stretch fabric but I think it would look just as good with a stretch knit fabric. If you enjoyed this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and I would so appreciate if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any more tutorials because I have tons of cool stuff planned. And what are we waiting for? Let's get sewing! To make this top I used about one and one third yards of a lightweight non-stretch gauze fabric although any light airy fabric would work. You'll also need at least two and a half yards of half inch wide elastic, at least one yard of a trim of your choice for the sleeves, and a basic tank top for a template. Since we're making an off shoulder top, fold the top of your tank top above the underarms down to create a straight edge. If you want your top to be any shorter than your tank top, fold the bottom edge up to the length you want. You can make it as long or as cropped as you'd like. Then fold the top in half down the center and we'll use this as a guide to cut out our bodice. Fold a portion of fabric over a few inches wider than your tank top, lay the top onto the fold of the fabric and pin it down. To cut out the bodice, cut one and a half inches above the top edge to give room for the elastic we'll add later. Cut at least three inches wider than the side to create the bodice's loose gathered style, although if you wanted your bodice to be even looser, you could cut it wider than that. And even though my tank top had a slightly curved side, I just cut the side straight up and down. Finally, cut one and a half inches lower than the bottom edge, again to add room for the elastic. When you remove the tank top and unfold the fabric, you'll have a large rectangle, then cut a second identical rectangle. Lay them with the correct sides of the fabrics facing together and pin and sew along the sides with a half inch seam allowance for all your seams. If you're using a non-stretch fabric, use a regular needle and straight stitch. And if you're using a stretch fabric, sew everything with a ballpoint needle and a zigzag stitch. Then, if your fabric frays, trim the edges of the seam allowances with pinking shears to help stop the fraying. Press the seam allowances open with an iron so they lay flat, using the heat instructions for your fabric. Next, we have to create a casing for the elastic to go into around the top edge, so with it turned inside out, fold the top edge over a half inch. Then fold it over again another inch this time and pin it down. Repeat that process of double folding the fabric a half inch first and then another inch, pinning all the way around the bodice's top edge. When you're done pinning, sew around the top edge to create the casing, but leave a couple inch gap unsewn to feed the elastic in through, and it's important to keep your stitches close to the folded edge I'm pointing to so you'll have enough room to fit your half inch elastic through the fabric. When you get back around near where you started sewing, don't forget to stop and leave that gap in the fabric. Then iron along the top edge to press the casing flat. Make a casing along the bottom edge of the bodice as well by double folding the fabric a half inch first and then another inch, pinning and sewing, leaving a gap in the stitches just like you did along the top edge. To measure how much elastic you'll need for the bottom edge, wrap it around your waist where the bottom of the shirt will sit stretching it slightly so it's snug but not too tight. Cut it a half inch larger than the size you need and set it aside. To measure how much you need for the top edge, wrap another piece around your chest just below your underarms, again stretching it slightly, and cut it a half inch larger. Hook a safety pin on one end of the piece you just measured around your chest and feed it in through the opening you left on the top edge of your bodice, being careful not to twist the elastic as you push it through the casing. 
When you pull it out of the other side, remove the safety pin and lay the two ends of elastic on top of each other, then sew back and forth with a zigzag stitch to join them. Pull on the fabric to get the elastic to lay flat inside the casing and sew to close up the opening. Then make sure the fabric is gathered evenly around the bodice. Feed the elastic you measured around your waist through the bottom edge of the bodice. Sew the ends of the elastic together. Sew to close up the opening in the casing and gather the fabric evenly. The top and bottom edges are now cinched in and it should look like this. To make the sleeves, we have to take a couple of easy measurements. First, measure around your arm just below your underarm. I got about 12 and a half inches. To give the sleeves the wide, flowy look, add at least 6 inches to your number. I got 18 and a half total. Start the tape measure where you just measured around your arm and measure all the way down to your wrist. I got 18 inches and add 2 inches to your number for elastic and seam allowance, so I got 20 total. Cut a rectangle for your sleeve that measures the number you calculated around your arm wide by the number you calculated down your arm long, then cut a second rectangle. Lay one sleeve with the correct side facing up. Lay your trim along the bottom edge and cut it to be the same width as the sleeve. Set it aside for a moment, and here I've zoomed in on the bottom edge of the sleeve. If your fabric frays, trim that bottom edge with pinking shears. Lay your trim back down so the correct sides are facing together and the top edge of the trim is lined up along the bottom edge of the sleeve. Pin it into place and sew to attach the trim. Flip it down so it's sitting below the sleeve, tucking the seam allowance behind the fabric so you can't see it through the trim, then press the fabric with an iron. Top stitch by sewing a line of stitches just above the seam, which will attach the seam allowance to the back of the fabric and help the trim to sit neatly below the sleeve. Fold the fabric in half with correct sides facing and pin and sew along the side. If it frays, trim the seam allowance with pinking shears, then press it open with an iron. Make a casing along the top edge of your sleeve exactly like you did on the bodice by double folding the fabric, pinning, and sewing, leaving a couple inch gap open. To see how much elastic you need, wrap it around your arm just below your underarm so it's snug but not tight, and cut it a half inch larger. Feed it through the sleeve's casing and sew the ends of the elastic together. So to close up the opening to complete the sleeve, then make the second sleeve the same way. To attach them to the bodice, turn everything right side out, and I've zoomed in closer so you can see the top edge of the bodice and one sleeve here. Grab the top of the bodice right at the side seam, and grab the top of the sleeve at the side seam as well. Match up those seams and pin them together. Sew several rows of stitches right over the elastic to join the pieces together, and repeat to attach the other sleeve. Those stitches will help prevent the elastic on the top of the bodice from getting twisted, so to keep it from getting twisted on the bottom edge, sew a row of stitches right over the elastic on both side seams. Sew a row on the outside edge of each sleeve as well, and now your top is ready to wear. Thank y'all for watching. If you like this tour, thank you so much for tuning into my channel.